हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर लीनियर इक्वेशंस दैट इज ऑन पेज नंबर वन ट्वेंटी फोर लुक एट दिस सिचुएशन मोनू हैज फाइव टॉफीज रोहन गेव हिम सम मोर टॉफीज नाउ मोनू हैज नाइन टॉफीज दैट इज फाइव प्लस सम अनोन टॉफीज मेक्स नाइन If we want to find the value of this unknown number, let this unknown number is equal to x. If I got the value of x, I will be able to know the toffees with mono, right? Now look at some another situation. There are eighteen mangoes in a basket, and some of these mangoes were rotten, which were removed. Now there are fifteen good mangoes. How can I write in this this expression in the form of statement? Eighteen minus some rotten mangoes unknown value that I don't know is equal to fifteen. Let that unknown number is equal to x. When we write these mathematical statements, five plus x equals nine. Eighteen minus x is equal to fifteen. We see they have the sign of equality. That is equal. See in this statement and in the five plus x equals nine. These statements are known as equations. So, a statement of equality which contain literal numbers, that is variables, is called an equation. Variables already we have studied in our previous chapter. Now. Look at these equations. Four plus x equals eighty-eight. One by three y equals four. Two x plus twelve equals fifteen. Y raised to power two minus one equals eight. In first three equations, the power of literal that is variable is one, and in the last equation. The power of literal is two, so an equation in which the power of the literal number that is variable is one is called a linear equation. Every equation consists of two parts: three x plus two equals nine. One is in the left hand side of the equation. And another is on the right hand side. This expression is known as LHS, that is left hand side, and this one is known as right hand side, that is RHS. Clear? Now, let us see how to convert a statement into an equation. If I am saying Four added to a number x is equal to nine. It means four plus x is equal to nine. Right now, following this method, we will solve our worksheet number one. Question number one: What are the two sides of an equation called? Just now we have discussed. Left hand side and right hand side, LHS, RHS. In a linear equation, what is the power of the variable? Always one. Linear means equation whose power is where power of variable is one. Now we are to encircle the linear equation. In this power of variable is one, so we will encircle this. Two x again the power is one. Here x raised to power two. We will not encircle. Here x is one. Again here also, and there x raised to power three. So it's not a linear equation. Now fourth question. We are to separate the left hand side and right hand side of the equation, which is written in the left hand side. Y minus three. Right hand side nine. Similarly, all three parts remaining you will do yourself. Now I'm explaining question number five. 
convert these statements into an equation 3 added to a number x 3 added means plus number x is means equal 5 a number y increased by 6 plus 6 is equal to 9 2 subtracted from a number x x minus 2 equals 10 twice a number p that is 2p equals 12 15 less than a number a minus 15 is 7 2 third a number 2 by 3 number is x is equal to 5 now 3 times a number which number x when this is decreased by 1 it becomes 4 now 6 times a number y 6y is means equal 3 more than number we have taken y number itself y 5 less than 1 third a number z 1 third of number z now subtract 5 it should be equal to 5 2 times what sum of number x and 3 equals 14 now your worksheet 1 is complete your homework is complete worksheet 1 of chapter 7. You will complete worksheet 1. Thank you.